Are you okay? Are you okay? All right. See you later. In Missouri, in August, those things suck. They will bite the crap out of you. If you get remotely sweaty or wet, horse flies are on you, game over. And they are relentless. So whenever I see one laying on his back like that, I can't help but reach out and make sure he doesn't need assistance for anything. Then. What are you doing, buddy? What is up? Not too much. Ready to shoot some bows and eat some good food, you? Same. That's a sweet hat you got there. Here, brought you one. Oh, dude, I've been meaning to get with you. Look at this thing. You sell these? Yeah. Where can they find them? www.missouripublichunter.com Very official website. Yeah. For a very official man. Yeah. <laughs> first things first. So I want to kind of give an explanation of what's happening in this video. <clears throat> this video was actually filmed a few months ago. The other guy in this video is my good buddy, Matt Sherman. Uh, he lives here in the same town as me, and he also does YouTube. His channel is a hunting, kill, clean, cook style. Uh, almost every one of his videos now has starts with a hunt, usually ends up with a success, and then he takes it to the kitchen uh, or the smoker and makes a good meal out of it. Really, really, really great content creator. If you guys are into hunting and or cooking wild game and eating it, definitely go give him a look. I think his channel is way, way underrated. All that being said, we've been talking for a while about doing some kind of a collaboration where we both get in a video together. And uh, over the summer, Matt invited me over to his house. We shot bows. He was smoking a turkey breast that he killed out of a different video last spring. Um, when we were done shooting our bows, we ate some delicious turkey. So it's kind of a chill little video, me and my buddy hanging out. Um, you're definitely gonna enjoy it. Matt is awesome in the woods, he's awesome in the kitchen. Uh, go give his page a look if you want. Man vs. Deer, enjoy the video. All right, so Matt's here. We are going to turn the heat up on this turkey breast. It's been on a smoke setting. We're gonna bump that up to about 350. We'll do 300. So is this a wild turkey breast? Yeah, yeah. Okay, where is it from? Oh. Do you remember? About five miles down the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I did two Catch Clean Cook videos. So the other side of this has uh, been a movie star already. Would you like some chicken? I've got more. So what did you do to prepare that meat? Really nothing. I, I clean them pretty good before I freeze dry them and stuff like that. Um, I put some smoked salt and pepper on it, a little bit of spicy Dano seasoning. Meanwhile, we're gonna shoot some bows. Sweet. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Ooh. Hey, we had a couple that were decent here. Not too bad. Only one. That Don't worry about that little guy. That's a liver shot. That, yeah. Highly yeah. lethal. Yeah, he'll die. YouTube is a very hard thing to grow on at first. Yeah. A new channel. It's, it's, if you get a subscriber, it's a big deal. Oh, come on, people. Dead deer. Look at that. It's pretty good. You don't even have to track him. He's going to just fall over and die and put himself in your freezer. No. That's how good those shots are. <laughs> Grab your bow, man. No, it's you. I just shot. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, you're shooting. I'm answering. I figured you needed practice. Oh. <laughs> That target's also small, it makes it seem like a farther shot. Yeah, maybe good. that's what I was looking at. I think I... this is like maybe equivalent to shooting a real deer at like 60 yards, like a mature buck. <laughs> maybe, yeah, I would say so, size-wise. It's small, it's small. That's what she said. <clears throat> like, what is your worst hater? Well, <laughs> there's one comment that comes to mind when you say that, and it was a, a review for a pair of binoculars I put out, and he just wrote like a six paragraph thing about how crappy these binoculars were. Last night we let the liquor talk. And I'm like, why are you watching this video if you know you don't like him that much then, you know? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. 
And then he was digging at me a little bit too. He's like, the fact that you say these are good means this and that. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? Normally Things out. normally you would yeah. edit out. I found that if you leave that weird, like almost that self-embarrassing stuff, if I can embarrass myself on film, like people will eat that up. Nobody out here is going to say anything that can offend me. I promise you. <laughs> Roast me in the comments. I don't care. I'll read it, but I don't care. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to get my arrows. You're going to have to work on that, homie. Did that drone scare you? That mean nasty drone. All right. Fancy. We're done. Smoker's off. This thing is hit temp. It's got a decent bark on it, which is hard to do on these because they don't cook for long enough to really, I don't want to push it back into the back wall. Right? That's All right, now what are you calling the bark? The outside, the crispy part. So the, the crispy edges there that look really, really yummy? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> for all the seasoning is and everything. Check that out, man. Oh my gosh. You know, I've, a lot of people try to smoke wild turkey breast and they'll do it for too long and it's like rubbery and stuff, but you'll see, as long as you pull it at the right temp, it'll probably be like one of your new favorite ways to eat this, I bet. Can't believe I'm actually standing in the man versus deer kitchen. So much magic happens here. <laughs> a lot more disasters than I showed you, I promise you that. A lot of edited out. <laughs> yes. Come on. What's up guys? I'm here with my good buddy Matt. We're gonna do a little BS in and we're gonna eat some. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. What's up guys? In today's video, I got about <laughs> these are the gold these are gold for my videos. <laughs> What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be smoking some turkey breast and I'm gonna be hanging out with my good friend Matt from Missouri Public Hunter. We're gonna eat, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna shoot some bows. It's gonna be a good time. Let's get after it. Remember, smash that subscribe button. How's it you say it? You, what is it? <laughs> like this post, definitely smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can stick around for the next video. I'm a fan. A little behind the scenes action here. Uh, I wish you could smell a video because... If you're hungry enough, you can sometimes. I believe. <laughs> okay guys. We've waited our 10 minutes, very impatient. Oh. The grain of the meat is gonna run this way. And just like you're carving a brisket or something, you kind of want to carve it like diagonally. Uh, that way it's like easy to bite into. I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce over here, just in case you want something for your dipping pleasure. Well, it's like kind of informally tear this thing apart. Pick you out a slice, buddy. I'm talking about the whole thing. Mr. Cheers. See this look? Oh gosh. Yeah. It's like falling out on me. Ready? What do you think? Oh my gosh. We're dude. good at it. Oh. I'll get you some barbecue sauce on mm -hmm. that. You don't need it. You don't need the barbecue sauce. Don't hurt but it's good, but no, it's not hurting it. That is so good, dude. Mm. It takes a lot to deviate from frying it because frying it's so good, but this will do it. Oh, you can see it's pretty tender. And this is Missouri wild, wild turkey. Wild turkey. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. We're, I don't want to talk anymore. I don't want to film anymore. I just want to yeah. eat and hang out. So I really hope that you guys entertained when you watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something or took something away from this recipe that you can use more than anything. I hope that you guys like this stuff that you want to check out more of Matt's videos, Missouri Public Hunter, and that you want to come back and check out more Man vs. Deer videos. We'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe if you hadn't already. Mm -hmm. And we really want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch, uh, watch our video. So appreciate you guys watching. Good luck next time you're in the woods and God bless. Very good. Very, very good. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour here of Matt's setup. So much like my shop, how I've got my little man cave, man hunting video area. Um, he's got a basement here in his house. Uh, he's got his little editing area over here, which is probably better than what I got. I don't even have a dedicated area yet. I just set up uh, on my kitchen counter. But this is some of the cool stuff Matt does. He has done a couple of uh, these Euro mounts actually for me couple uh, for the kids, but this is his little uh, side hustle. This is kind of, this is probably my favorite one I've ever done, and this 
This is a, a rifle mount I made for actually this deer, but it's kind of a centerpiece, so you want to pull this deer's bow and bring it on this mount. But this is the one it was originally intended for. Sidetrack though. This piece of wood, I found it one year when I was crappie fishing. Like it just like that is so cool. Washed up on the bank and it looked cool, so I kept it. I kept it for like four years. That is nuts, and then it ends up like that. Yeah. This this turkey's really cool too. What is uh where can they find you for this taxidermy stuff? Uh, I know we talked about man versus deer, but this is a total entity, right? That is the funding behind man versus deer. <laughs> there you go. Precision Skull Works is the name, Facebook. No website, you know, just Facebook and Google. Okay. Um, if you're in the Southwest Missouri area, you can do these maps for 200 bucks. And my claim to fame, so to speak, is that I can have a back heat bath. So like, if you don't want to wait six months to get your hands on your deer, I can surely have a back heat in under a week. I can speak to that. We dropped one off to you, I want to say on like a Monday, and by Friday, I was hanging it on the wall. So, very quick. Sweet. Let's see your little work area. I do part of my work in here, like anything that isn't like sawing or sawdusting or anything like that. Like I make a lot of my wooden plaques, and then I bring them in here to finish them out. And then I kind of store them in here, and then when someone buys them, because I sell those plaques online, um, you can find those on Etsy. Very cool. And then you've got, looks like uh, you're just stash of stuff. Yeah, so this is all my hunting gear. I try to keep everything that I'm using. I have that exact Ruger. I mean exact. It looks identical. Might even have the same scope on it. That's hilarious. Yeah, scope is... Yes. Call dang.